Hallo liebe Freunde und herzlich willkommen zurück zu Let's Play The Walking Dead. Da sind wir auch wieder in der Gefangenschaft, in diesem Supermarktcenter, was von Carver und seinen Männern übernommen wurde. Wir können uns hier jede Menge anschauen. Da vorne schläft der eine, Mike. Der scheint ziemlich übel gelaunt zu sein und will eigentlich nicht gestört werden, wenn wir schlafen. Beziehungsweise wenn er schläft, wir schlafen ja noch gar nicht, auch wenn es mitten in der Nacht ist. Ja, sprechen wir ihn trotzdem an, oder? Hallo? Get lost. Ah, er will wohl nicht so richtig. Was haben wir denn da? Ist irgend so eine Fisch? Ja, so ein Fisch, ne? Ist das, weiß ich nicht, so eine Art Vase? Und das ist das Mädchen, die angeblich draußen vor dem Lager irgendwie rumschlawinert ist. Sehr mysteriös. Scheint auch nicht unbedingt zutraulich zu sein. Guess it's better than the ground. It's not. <lacht> it's not. Ja, die Lage ist folgende. Wir hängen jetzt hier fest und müssen uns überlegen. Kenny will abhauen, der auch zu unserer Gruppe gehört. Dann haben wir aber noch die anderen, die eigentlich sich probieren oder versuchen, es diplomatisch zu regeln. Und wir haben auch neue Leute kennengelernt. Wir müssen uns jetzt hier, wie gesagt, erstmal ein bisschen umschauen und hm, zurechtfinden. Looks rickety. Was ist denn mit Mike? Äh, mit Nick natürlich. Mike hatten wir ja da vorne. Hey, Clown. Nick? Just thinking about Luke. Just... There's no way he's gone. That he left. How about it? Cause me... I've known him for damn near 20 years now, and I can't buy it. Of course, I can't say the thought never crossed my mind. Things change. Whole damn world change. I think you're right. He'd never leave you guys behind. Us guys, you mean? Yeah, us guys. <sighs> Guess I'll try and get some sleep. You should too. They're gonna ride our asses tomorrow for sure. Okay. Night. Na, wir legen uns natürlich noch nicht schlafen. Wir schauen uns hier erstmal noch weiter um. Sarah ist da vorne. Rebecca. Kennen wir auch alle noch. So, und... Ja, es kann natürlich sein, dass Luke, den kennt ihr vielleicht noch. Die, die die letzte Folge direkt im Anschluss geschaut haben, kennen die natürlich noch. Aber für, zwischen den Episoden sind ja immer ein paar Pausen. Und Luke war ein guter. Wir luken mal hier durch eben. <lacht> und können nichts ausmachen. Aber hier sieht es ganz gut aus. Da können wir auch irgendwas bewegen. This place seems pretty secure. Hey, Clem, come on. Don't be like that. She ain't doing nothing wrong, Reggie. Just relax. How can I relax when she's walking around touching everything? Ja, nur mal probieren, wie fest das beschaffen ist. Dieses Drehrad, was können wir da damit machen? Das würde mich jetzt aber interessieren. Kann man was runterfahren mit? Das scheint auch zu klemmen. Dad! Alright, go the fuck to sleep. I'm shooting the first one of y'all I see wandering around before sunup. Everybody get to bed. Some of these folks ain't too keen on leaving. It's up to us to figure out a way out of here. You up for it? It's your decision. Habe ich eine Wahl? Do I have a choice? Of course. Really? Nah, not really. You gotta do this one. Now get some sleep. We'll need it. Na gut, dann schlafen wir jetzt meine Runde und ich bin gespannt auf den nächsten Morgen. Jetzt müssen wir arbeiten. Troy. Was? What? Get up. Bill's gonna have a word.
Nichts für Frühaufsteher und sehr freundlicher Empfang. There's been increased walker activity along the fence, so be mindful when outside the walls. The herds moved a little closer as of this morning, but that still doesn't necessarily mean we'll be hit. No, we're monitoring the situation. Now, there are some folks might be sore about what happened and how things went. Well, that's all in the past now. Some of you are new to our community. Some of you are members who went astray. But know that you can find redemption here, forgiveness, by proving your worth through what will undoubtedly be hard work. Reggie, you're nearly back in. Keep following the path and we'll welcome you back with open arms. How'd you sleep? I'll let Reggie be an example to you all. I was so tired. Salvation is available, but it I didn't even must be earned. That. Pay attention. Kenneth will be I'll taking talk over later. Reggie's okay. duties outside okay. the wall. Okay, yeah, sounds good. Michael will continue on I showing just his it was value. Nice to finally... Carlos. Yes. Your child seems to be in need of correction. I'm sorry. I... Sarah, apologize to Mr. Carver. S I'm sorry, sir. No, no. That ain't gonna cut it. I can't have this kind of behavior on day one of your reform. You discipline her now, Carlos. How do you propose that one I... One good smack across the mouth should do it. It'll make her think twice before opening it up again. Go on, we'll wait. My... I'm not sure with my hand that I... Well, that's why you got two hands, Carlos. Come on! Not some namby pammy thing, all right? A good hard smack. Otherwise, Troy here will do it for you. I don't think you want that. He can be overzealous. Is that the word? If it means I'll slap the shit out of her, then yeah. Go on, Carlos. Just get it over with. It's my fault. Hey, no one's fucking talking to you. Unless you want one of what she's about to get, I'd pipe down, Missy. Wie heftig. Jetzt soll er seiner Tochter eine klatschen, weil Carver es will. I'm sorry, Dad. I'm Close sorry. Your eyes, honey. It's only going to sting for a second. Do it. <lacht> Na, das war aber ein richtig fetter Watschen, Carlos. I'm sorry, Sarah. Stop! You're not cuddling that girl anymore. Let her sit there and think about what she's done. Troy, get Carlos to his post. Everyone else should have their assignments. It's time to get to work. God damn. You really knocked the shit out of her, Doc. Everyone get to work. You're working in the armory. Follow me. Soil, coming up! Clementine! Das war die mysteriöse junge Dame. Das Mädchen. Who is this? She's one of the new people. She was with Carlos and Sarah. Uh, and... Sarah? I wish she'd stayed gone. She's had a hard time, Becca. So have we. We're not sitting on the ground like babies. Go on inside. Bonnie's waiting. Ach, mit Bonnie. Und die ihre Geschichte kennen wir auch von vorne der Hey, I guess you're starting your day with me. We're loading magazines. Well, that's it. You got it. I suppose I owe you an apology. I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. And I was shown a kindness I never would have expected from a group of strangers. But now folks are dead. And I can't help but feel I'm to blame. But the plan was for no one to get hurt. 
I truly believe that was the intent. At least it was mine going into it. Carver's the one who pulled the trigger. He's to blame. Yeah, but I surely didn't help matters. I thought if I was the one that found everyone, I could control it. Keep everyone safe. But that ain't how it went. I apologize. Which don't account for much, but it's all I can offer right now. Naya, yeah, Bonnie. How was your first night in the yard? I know it ain't so comfortable, but it's safe. Which is more than I can say about a lot of places out there. You mean my first night in prison? It ain't a prison. More of a work release. Didn't they do those in prisons? Well, I... Probably. I don't know. I've never been to prison. Don't tell no one. I'm trying to keep a tough reputation. I was supposed to go. When Luke and Carlos and all them left, I was planning on leaving too. When Luke approached me about it, I, th I thought he was crazy. I mean, we're safe here. We got power, we got food. And Bill, he... He wasn't always like this. But you attacked them instead? Hey, I didn't attack anyone. Bill did all that. I didn't want... I wasn't expecting any of that to happen. I just wanted everyone to be safe. Out there ain't exactly all flowers and rainbows. I justified not going by telling myself it's easier to try and change something that's broken than start all over. Take this situation with the herd? That's the type of thing that rips a community apart. He keeps things in line. He's got a lot of this stuff figured out. I don't know. I guess I just wanted to be somewhere comfortable for a while. Nobody's safe here with Carver around. You're safe if you stay on his good side. I would if I knew where it was. I mean, it ain't easy keeping a group this big fed and protected. I don't envy that position. Figured that'd make anyone a little stressed. I'm not defending what he did. That was... I'm alive because of him. That's just a fact. And there's something to that. He killed Walter and Alvin. Only to protect his own people. Kenny could have killed us all. But he didn't. Alvin killed George when he escaped. He might not have meant to, but... George died all the same. I ain't no saints in all this. Bill overreacted. He was in the heat of the moment, and he overreacted. Luke had ideas about how things should go, but they didn't line up with what Bill was thinking. They butted heads. Then Rebecca started showing, and that only made things worse. Maybe Luke was right about him. I wish he was around, but I just hope he's safe. Hey, Bonnie, is that girl down there? I need to come get her. Yeah, she's here. Okay, I'll be right over. I'm sure it's fine. Oh, almost forgot. I grabbed this for you. Huh? What do you think? I found it at the lodge y'all were at. Think it might be for scan. Had to wait for no one to be around to get it to you. It's cool. I like it. Well, I'm glad. I thought it was cute, but I didn't know what you'd think. You better watch yourself. I think some folks might be jealous of that cool jacket of yours. Oh, there you are. What's with the ugly jacket? Tavia. What? <laughs> Never mind. I'll see you later, Clementine. Come on. Na, da haben wir mal erzählt, dass wir die Jacke gut finden würden. Und Bonnie ist auch sehr widersprüchlich und sich selber nicht so wirklich sicher. Stay in here for a minute. I'm gonna radio down and find out what you're doing. Don't touch anything. Hey. Are you okay? I know it's... it's gotta be hard. My dad's never hit me before. <laughs> Even when I was really bad. <laughs> he never hit me. He didn't want to do it, Sarah. Carver made him. He's the bad guy, not your dad. So, in a weird way, 
Carver's the one that hit you, not your dad. I guess so. Carver hit me super hard, because it still hurts like crazy. Yeah, <laughs> it looked like it. Well, thanks for trying to help. I don't know why people have to be so mean. Like, even when I'm really mad, I still don't want to hurt anyone. Don't mess this up. Yeah, I get it. Reggie's in charge here, okay? Listen to him carefully. Yep, no problem, Tavia. Okay, we gotta do a good job, guys. The camp is counting on us. Come on, I'll show you what to do. It's super easy. Pick up a pair of those shears. Okay, so we're picking these berries, right? Just pick them, put them in the basket. Simple. While you're at it, if you see any dead branches, take those shears and cut them off and stack them neatly for composting. Got it? Hey, so... Is she gonna be okay? Because what happened down there? That was straight fucked up. I don't want her freaking out and getting me in trouble. I'll take care of her. You don't have to worry. Good, good. Because I'm awful at that stuff. Look, Bill's had it out for me ever since I helped those guys escape, so I gotta concentrate on my work. That was awkward. I won't do that again. I'm gonna go work now. <laughs> Ach man, was für ein Kauz. Na dann widmen wir uns mal der Pflanze hier. Oh mein Gott, sie steckt das nicht so gut weg. Ja und bisher wird ja viel geredet. Wir müssen viel lauschen. Komm, wir helfen Sarah mal. Hey. Hier, watch me. This isn't that hard, Sarah. I know. I'm just afraid I'll make a mistake. It won't be the end of the world if you do. Just keep going. Ah, oh, shit. Oh, no. Kava. You didn't do any of your work, Clem. <laughs> just checking in. See how the new girls are working out. Reggie. Yeah, Bell. Hey. What the fuck happened in here? Look, Bell, they're new, and me with my arm, it's just not the easy... I just have... I have one shut arm... Shut up, the... shut up. Shut the fuck up. You better have an explanation for this. And I mean now. Bill, please, just... Sounds just... like you were about to give me an excuse when I asked for an explanation. We'll get it done. Just give us some more time. Just... Time's up, Reggie. You had a task. You didn't get it done. Looks to me like you failed. It was my fault. I didn't show Sarah well enough. I guess. No, this ain't your fault. We talked about this, Reggie. Didn't we? But you just don't get it, do you? Get what? I... I... Why don't you girls wait outside? Reggie and I have a few things to talk about. Mist. Weil wir Sarah geholfen haben, steckt Reggie jetzt in der Klemme. Thanks for the help, girls. Und wer weiß, was da passiert. What's wrong, Sarah? Are you okay? I no, gave no, you no, plenty no, of chances. Please, Bill, no! 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 Please! Ah! Oh, Weakness. My. Incompetence. It puts us all at risk. And it won't be tolerated. You think about that the next time you're asked to do something. Get downstairs. 
Bonnie's got some stuff for you to do. Go! Was für ein kranker Bastard. Oh mein Gott, Kava ist wirklich ein mieser Drecksack. Wirft der Reggie einfach darunter. Und jetzt müssen wir da wirklich mit zurechtkommen. Denn dieser Kerl ist, im Gegensatz dazu, was Bonnie erzählt, einfach nur ein Mega-Drecksschwein. Hier müssen wir das Handwerk legen, oder? Was meint ihr? 